The Cotswold Way runs through the English countryside. We are on a 164 kilometre or 103 mile walk from Chipping Camden to Bath. Hi everyone, welcome to Cashwalks. Well, we've enjoyed our day zero in Winchcombe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a really interesting uh, things to see here. And now we're heading out on our third day of walking the Cotswold Way. Yes, it's a, it's a long one today. It's 23k and at 6 o'clock in the morning, nice and light, showers predicted, um, and it's about 14 degrees. So, off we go. First task of the morning is to find our way out of Winchcombe back onto the trail. Well, we're saying goodbye to the Lion Inn. Very nice place to stay. And we're heading through the town to pick up the start of the Cotswold Way. We had some nice things from the North Street Bakery on the right there. And by the look at those clouds up over the, the uh, shops in front of us. We're going to hit some rain at some point. I think we'll be very lucky if it doesn't rain on us today. Just passing the War Memorial Cross here. Max Adventures offline route map shows today's walk just in case we need it. Here we are, about to enter a field here for the start of the day's walk. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> the track's a little muddy after all the rain yesterday, but not bad, it's still pretty firm. Glad I've got uh, good soles on though, because uh, it could get a bit slippery if we were going uphill somewhere. Our second task of the day is to make our way up to the top of the hills in the far distance. Looks like we're passing a freedom camper here. I'll keep my voice down. I might be asleep. No fancy breakfast for us today. We went into the bakery and got some, uh, what were they, Eccles cakes, Lynn? Yes. Had some Eccles cakes and a cup of tea in our room because we were leaving so early. Couldn't oh, expect nice. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't expect them to uh, cook breakfast for us at six in the morning. And we also brought some uh, Phil Rolls for lunch. This path's a bit better. Nice little tunnel to walk through here, man. Yes. <laughs> There's the Cotswold Way marker. And we're going left. Mm. Up this little road here. And no doubt we'll turn right soon. <laughs> Still can't get used to sort of going on to what looks like private property. No, it looks like someone's farm. Yeah. But the signs are easier than I thought they would be to see. Yeah. Ballast nap one and a quarter miles away, I think it said. Oh, that's not far. Uh, it's up on the hill there, I think, somewhere. Ah. Oh. oh, that's good. We've got to climb up that hill. Yeah, I'm going past the cricket club. Runs. Total wickets. How are you feeling at the start of the day? Good. Good? Yeah, no, it's good. No aches or pains? No, no, I'm fine. Good. Just nice and steady. Yes. No blisters so far on the walk. Admittedly, it's only the start of day three. But um, I'm putting it down to a few things. One is really good um, trail runners that we'd used in New Zealand before we came to England. Um, really good wool socks. And uh, hydration, we're making sure we're drinking plenty of water. That may be what's keeping them away. We hope so. But I'll tell you on day eight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Looks like we've got a bit of a walk up a hill here through the sheep paddock. Well, they said it would be steep. <laughs> steep, right. 
You can see the town by in the distance behind us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Made a bit of progress. Yes. Yep. Okay. But I'll snap half a mile away. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not, there we are. Up, not up the road. <laughs> well, it is, but it's parallel to the road. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about going up there. All right. <sighs> Oh yeah, this is lovely. Yeah. Nice through the forest, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Lots of ivy climbing up the tree. Is it <laughs> ivy? That's ivy, I think. Mm. Pretty certain. Having seen a few ivy covered tree <laughs> geocache hides, haven't we? Mate? <laughs> we have. Since we've been in England. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see trees to the local geocaches. <sighs> Ivy covered trees. Mm. When we're going up steep paths like this, we take smaller steps and go slower. We also look at the ground and pretend that it's flat. <laughs> Just glancing up every now and again, make sure we don't walk into a tree or a person coming the other way. We're up the top of that hill. It's been a steady climb since Winchcombe, hasn't it? Hello. The sheep aren't very bothered by the walkers, are they? No, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hello, little ones. <laughs> oh, look, he's coming to see you. Hello. No. Nope. <laughs> look, that one That's is. Close enough. He just wanted a photo taken. Yeah. Sorry guys, we're going to disturb you a little bit. You can stay seated there, we'll walk around you. Oh, I think they might. Oh no, <laughs> that's just too close for comfort. Oh, at least two. No? They <laughs> barely move. Yes. I think, oh no, I suppose we can sit down now though. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Head down and small steps. <laughs> you pretending the ground's flatland? Uh-huh. <laughs> Who was it that told us that? He oh. was the hiking rev, wasn't he? Yes, I think so. An American uh, hiker. Yeah, that was a good video. Who'd done the PCT, mm. Pacific Crest Trail. Yeah. It was great advice of him. It was. Him. Not far to the top now. Yeah, we're reaching the top. Somewhere up there is Ballast Nap. <sighs> Bit of a climb. Yes, he made it though. It's good. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> We might have seen it here, but looks like we're going into the forest again for a little bit. It must be still a little way ahead of us. How are you feeling after the hill? Good. I'm a bit sweaty. Oh, well, yes, I'm hot. <laughs> but it's pleasant walking along here. It's nice and flat. Yeah. Green moss on the dry stone wall. Beautiful. It is coming up to Ballast Nap. You can see the mound over the dry stone wall there. It's um, a Neolithic long barrow. It's a burial mound. 
over a little stone style here. It's not so easy when they don't have a pole <laughs> to hold on to, is it? No, it's not. Not for me. <laughs> sure the young ones would be fine. Yeah, it's all right. Looks like there's an information plaque here. It does. What does it say? Right. Oh, this barrow is over 5,500 years old. Wow. wow. And was constructed by prehistoric people as a place to bury the dead. Okay. The remains of at least 38 people were buried within the four chambers and wow. one behind the portal setting. And I think this first one here, I think this is a false entranceway. Oh, yeah, it's got that here. This false entrance known as portal setting has a forecourt which was used for ceremonies. Oh, the skeletons of five children and a young man together with animal bones and flint flakes were buried behind the stones. And the rain's coming, Lynn. Oh boy. Get our jackets on. Yep. Okay, let's walk around, we'll have a look. Oh, let's go in. Oh, look at that. That's where one of the burials was. was. <laughs> yeah, very interesting, isn't it? It does. Okay, let's go out. <laughs> There's a sort of another opening there. And you can see the long barrow stretching away in the distance here to where there are other openings. The tomb stands just below the crest of Humbleby Howe, a prominent hill. The barrow is about 54 metres or 178 feet long. It was excavated in the 1860s and 1920s and later heavily restored. There's another one you can go into. Oh, big stones are held back here by iron bars. The roof slabs have been replaced with concrete for stability, but the dry stone walls are still in place. Romano-British pottery found inside one of the burial chambers show that it was open in Roman times. <laughs> Good. All right, there we come. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, we're looking for the geocache here at Ballasnap. We're not sure. Okay, let's go down and see if the geocache is down here somewhere. Because this is an important one to find, seeing it's in such a special place. I'm just not sure we're on the right trail. It's so overgrown. But some, someone might have hit it down here. Someone might have put it down here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it is an old style, isn't it? But Definitely. <laughs> How far now, Lynn? It's 35 metres, but it's up there. I oh, know. <laughs> okay, it looks like there's a geo trail in through here. So we're heading in because the cash description says it's off the trail a little bit. <laughs> How far? 30 metres. 30? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh dear. I reckon, I reckon we... we'll come out. We could have gone along that. Yes. <laughs> well, let's go. I think our... It was uh, reminds of... of a Twizel trail that we went on. Twizel Castle, yes. yes. 
<laughs> well, we wound through ridiculously and didn't need to have done any of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I reckon this is going to be very similar. Oops, 16 metres. Twelve. Oh dear. It's quite pretty with the moss. Mm. <laughs> Three metres, so it's around here somewhere. It said it's reference to tree, didn't it? Yes. In dip, just off track. Well, there's the dip. <laughs> and there's the track, I think, over there. Oh dear. Oh. At the foot of a hazel tree. Hazel tree? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what a hazel tree is. Do you know what a hazel tree looks like? No, but we've got your plant out. Oh, uh, hold on. You right? the old, where would I hide it? I can see it. Oh, great. Can you see the cache? Pretty sure I can. There it is. Nice big one. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Looks like there's some goodies in there too. Lots of things in here. A nice big log book. Yep. Mainly the log book. Oh. I love New York. <laughs> They've come a long yeah. way. English coins in here. Right. Yeah, pennies, I think they are. Okay. Not sure. What are those pennies? Not sure. Mm, one penny. Or halfpenny. It looks too small no, for a pennies. penny. I don't think they have halfpennies anymore. Oh, we've certainly come the long way around. We do that all the time, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> What's the date today? Uh, 14th, is it? <laughs> it was the 13th yesterday. Okay, we found a cache. <laughs> all right, let's head just out onto the easy bit and walk back. Yes. This looks much easier. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. Dear idea. <laughs> oh, nothing like a bit of cross country. Do you think we'll get better at this as time goes by? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? You got scratched, did you? Yeah, a bit cut up. Yeah, was well, that um, blackberries, wasn't it? Yes. They were low down. Yes. yes. Passing. Fella snap again on the right, the burial ground, burial yeah. mound. Yeah, it might be a bit easier walking. Hmm. Okay, we're leaving Bella snap. We are. That was, was a great place to visit. Well, it's good. Even got the cash. Yeah, finally. <laughs> Flowers are pretty. Yeah, aren't nice they? blue flowers, aren't they? Hmm. Oh, well, oh. we're on the right path. Yeah. So far, there hasn't been much road walking, which is really great. It's all through fields and farmland and um, yeah, forest. And it's been great. It was a bit wild and woolly in that other patch that we walked through, so I put my sleeves down. Yeah, about, out on the fields. Yes, mm. that's right. Yeah, it's about 14 degrees now, and um, it's a bit calmer, so it's quite pleasant, isn't it? Yeah, when the rain comes over, the temperature drops quite a bit. It sure it? does, yes. It almost gets uncomfortable. Yeah, but it's good, okay, as opposed to the heat. Yes, <laughs> at least it's not heat. Exactly. You can always put something on to warm up, but... If it's hot, it's very hard to yeah, cool down. Cool down, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's great. Yep, not complaining, just commenting. <laughs> we can't help thinking that it would have been good to come in another month or two's time. All these blackberries. Just not ready yet. We haven't met many people today, but this is the um, third group uh, running. The 
know, I'd shoot the dropping to avoid as you walk along. <laughs> we're expecting this to be much harder today, Lynn. Yes, we did. Yeah. We, um, we were. Lots of flat. You certainly haven't needed boots. No. Trail runners are easily good enough for this. Yep. I wouldn't do it in just running shoes, you know, or ordinary sneakers. Looks like we're heading down through some forested area again. It's quite good variety from going through forested areas and, you know, with these lovely ferns here and going across fields and past, you know, crops and things, isn't there? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oops, what Oops. happened? <laughs> I think this isn't working so well. Good. Well, you can hear the wind in the trees. Yes. The leaves of the trees are making a huge din. <laughs> now we're going down now. Yeah, it's quite steeply down, isn't it? It is. It won't look like that on the GoPro, because <laughs> <laughs> it tends to flatten things out. But, um, yeah, it's quite steep here. You have to just be careful with your footing. Hmm. And this is where I think the trail runners come in handy. Yeah. You know, this grippier soles. Yeah, we don't want to fall over, do we? No, just take it easy. Whoa, this is very steep. Yeah. I'm finding these poles are very good too. It uh, makes it a lot easier to walk. Yeah, going mm. downhill. Yes. Mm. They help us on the way up, yes. taking a bit of the pressure off. Yes. <laughs> they help us going down, just steadying, so you don't slip over and hurt yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't want a sprained ankle or something. <laughs> no, that's for sure. And there's uh, still 15 kilometres to go. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be good. It's not as though you can pull a car up. No. Car up and <laughs> take your hospital. Might be a helicopter coming in. Mm. Looks like a few trees have been chopped down here. Mm. Not sure what that's all about. No. Just clearing the land a little bit, maybe. Lovely big trees here. I've had these cakes for a while. Bit of sun coming out. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it's it? It's nice to have a little bit of warmth. Yes. Well, the look at this wall going down here. It looks like we're going to head downhill. <laughs> yes. We've been going downhill for some time, haven't we? Yes, yep. Yeah. At some point, we're going to have to go up again, I bet. Oh, yeah. Now oh, that one mile to go sign's definitely not for us, Lynn. No. I think that must be some sort of race that's coming through here. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Maybe that's why people are all running. Oh, could be. Practicing. Practicing. Mm. Seen it Saturday. Yep. 
There should be a lot of people off. Good time to get out and do some training. That makes sense. For the race. Mm -hmm. 26 milers this way. Hmm. That's interesting. Thank you for getting the gate. Mm -hmm. Now we'll close the gate. <laughs> On we go. Looks like a silage pit up on the top there, Lynn, with the oh. tyres on it. Okay. That's what our farmers do too. Right. Cover in black polythene and then put uh, tyres on to stop it blowing off. Okay. And there's a lovely smell of silage in there. <laughs> there is. Which could be another clue. <laughs> <laughs> They're scratching themselves. Mm. Here's what we think is a silage pit. People get upset about the smell of silage, but I quite like it. I remember it on my brother Tony's farm, feeding it out to the cows. Farmers hay rake there, and more joggers. I see more people running than we have walking. Uh, looks like the Cotswold Way bypasses the farmer's uh, shed here. And we go up here. Saying, permissive path to avoid farmyard. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Ready to come. Looks like a lovely uh, house for in the distance here. Friendly farmer? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. We're coming up to Postlip Hall, a co housing community. Over the last 50 years, the hall has been divided into separate living units. For the eight families here, it is a mixture of private life and group life as they work the land. Yeah, it looks like huge bracket fungus here, Lynn. I don't think I've seen any so big. Wow. Wow, that's pretty awesome, aren't they? Look at that one. Go off and touch it so see if people can see the size of it. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty <laughs> awesome, isn't it? Yeah. just met a gentleman who was uh, picking up litter. This has uh, been a beer festival on and they're just, uh, the organisers are just cleaning up, making sure the place is left nice. And that's uh, what the people were off the big house. That's interesting. I could have gone to a beer festival then. <laughs> We'd known it was on, it would have come a bit earlier. <laughs> yes, well. <laughs> So much for our walk. That had have been the case. <laughs> yes. Had to stay a few nights here to recover. Yes. Here we are. Cotswold Beer Festival. Ah. We should have known about that. London Westie could have come over from Canada, Lynn. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. Canada. Would have been good. Yeah, they like their beer. They do. Could have met up with them. That yeah, would have been good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Maybe next year. Yes.
So we're going past stables here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, Santa Rovers. Seen a bit of days for the looks of it. It's just do not feed the horses, they may bite. See any horses? You need to be careful. Warning, electric fence. We're passing a lovely spring-fed well. Strange looking flowers here. And we go uphill towards the golf course, hmm. which is up on the top here. Yes. Welcome to Cleve Common. Right. Don't know how far away the golf course is, do we? No. Not far away though. No. No. It's our next stop. Going the raincoats again. <laughs> it's coming down. Oh yeah. <clears throat> doesn't look like it's gonna last long though, then. No, it doesn't, but. Last long enough to get us wet. Yes. If we didn't put them on. Oh dear. Whew. We're getting a bit of a routine, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put it on, take it off. Put it yep. on, take it off. And it's stopped yeah. raining. <laughs> oh, I'll leave them on for a little bit. Yeah. Still a little way to the golf course. Hmm. It's a little bit more uphill here. Finally, I'm handling the uphills quite well, but some of them are quite long. I'm glad we did the training back at home. Yes, yeah, same here. On those longer hills. Yes. Uh, didn't take it too easy on ourselves. Yes. Throw the ball, mister. Game over. All right. We made the golf course. Hooray! <laughs> Just figured out that this is a fundraiser for Alzheimer's. Oh, well, we've given the uh, cafe a miss there. It was open, but because of the Alzheimer's fundraising walk, um, which we thought was a run, but it, is. it doesn't look like it is. It's more like a walk. Um, we decided we'll go and have our lunch up on this little green thing here, which we might be able to sit on. Hold on, is that teeing off though? Oh. Oh yeah. No, can't do that. People playing golf and walkers for the fundraising. We're all over the place here today. We're looking for a seat where we could sit down and have our lunch. And maybe one up in front there. There we are, there's a seat. <laughs> sit down here, have a look out over the countryside. Ah. Oh, it's nice. Okay, we've stopped for lunch. I'm having uh, corned beef and pickle, and Lynn's having cheese, ham and pickle. So a little bit of a stop here, lovely view. And um, yeah, we've been working for about five hours, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good time to have a stop and break. Now it's on up to the top of Cleve Hill, the highest point on the Cotswold Way. Hey, yeah, we're at the top. Ta da! Okay, touch the trick point. Yep. Down the hill. Oh.
Boy, I can see why. They say, look, be careful up here on high winds. It's really blowing here today. But absolutely wonderful views out of the countryside. under a little bit of pressure at the moment because Max Adventures have um, organised a taxi that takes us into Cheltenham for the night and then bring us back to the Cotswold Way. That means we have to get there by 5.30 and we're just not sure exactly how well we're doing here now. So there's a little bit of pressure. And the taxi waits, what, five minutes? Five minutes, yes. <laughs> now we must be there by 5.30. Hopefully we'll make it in plenty of time. Up ahead of us here, the track branches a lot and markers seem to be few and far between. Helpful having Max Adventure app with its offline maps to reassure us. Now we're coming up to a nature reserve. That's interesting. Round to the left, isn't it? Butterfly conservation, it says. Show us how that works. There you are. <laughs> Funny, eh? Yeah. Haven't seen one like that on the Hawaii yet. No. Oh, oh, I've got to take these. You do. Whoa. I think that will have to do. <laughs> oh, it's starting to rain. It's all nice and sunny, a sunny patch. Well, it's good to be out of that rain, Lynn. Oh, yes. Gee, did it come down. There was hail. Um, we just got absolutely pelted down on. Yeah. yeah it hurt my face, it was that, uh, that strong. I know, yeah. Wind. yeah. There's butterflies. Oh look, there they are there, see? Oh look, there's two of them on that. These are pretty. Oh, I like the sun coming through the trees, Lynn. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice. Yep. Looks like we're back in summer. Yeah. We're slowly coming down from up on the hills. Seven Springs can't be too far away now. Not sure about the distance. Oh, 
can hear a major road up in front of us here. This looks like we're going to have to be careful going across. Get ready. Go for it. Uh, and down here. Ooh. We're heading to Lineover Wood. It's an example of ancient semi-natural coppice woodland which was common in the Cotswolds. Species include ash, oak, white beam, small and large leaved lime. The understory is hazel, field maple and hawthorn. Boy, it's going uphill again. This time even steeper. Let's see if we get to the top of this one. Going really slowly up here. How are you going? Good. Well, we're pretty tired of this stage, aren't we? Yes. I don't know how you feel, but boy, I'm really worn out. Yeah, the last three or four miles have been gruelling, really, haven't they? Yeah, they have been. Very up. Yep. <laughs> so, I'll be very glad to get the end today. I've had a good day, but boy, this last bit, I don't know, seven springs just never seems to come. <laughs> <laughs> Not far now. Stopping to admire the poppies. Seven springs at last with half an hour to spare. Time for a drink before the taxi arrives. Cheers. Cheers. The taxi is dropping us off in Cheltenham. Let's take a look at our room. We're very tired, so we'll say good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow on day four.